Hello everyone and welcome to Mechatronics and Robotics tutorials by using Robot Operating System. In this tutorial we will learn how to install TurtleBot 3 Robot Digital Twin or a model in Rosnoatic and we will learn how to visualize this robot in Gazebo. Gazebo software environment is an amazing 3D simulation engine. It consists of an integrated differential equation solver, OpenGL rendering engine and it can simulate sensors and actuators as well as advanced control algorithms. Then we will also learn how to embed the TurtleBot 3 robot in a simulation world that you can see over here. Over here you can see a virtual house with a robot that follows a circular trajectory. The control objective for this robot can be to autonomously map the house and at the same time to autonomously reach the final destination. For example, the goal would be to move the robot from this position to, for example, position over here. However, the robot needs to find its path autonomously. The main motivation for creating this video tutorial comes from the fact that you will often need a simulation environment and a digital twin of a robot to verify path planning, navigation and SLAM algorithms. A very popular robotic concept is TurtleBot. It's a differential drive robot with cameras, lighters and sensors that can be used to verify and experimentally test advanced robotic algorithms. Also, I noticed that online there are a number of tutorials that explain how to install the TurtleBot simulation environment. However, these tutorials are either incomplete or they are obsolete and they will not work for ROS Noetic distribution. Consequently, I'm creating this tutorial to once for all clarify the installation process. But before I start with explanations, I would like to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as more than 400 free video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. Consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Also, please feel free to leave any comment or a question you might have in the comment section below this video tutorial. Thanks! Okay, let's start. In the first step, we need to create a workspace folder and we need to clone the necessary TurtleBot 3 packages and files. To do that, click over here and over here search for terminal. Here it is. Let's see where we are. Okay, now let's create two folders for our workspace. The first folder is test turtlebot this is an arbitrary name however inside of this folder we need to create another folder called source with the abbreviation src okay next let's navigate to our source folder to do that we will type this and over here we will clone the necessary turtlebot 3 packages and files First, we will execute this clone command. And this will take some time, depending on how fast is your internet connection. Perfect, this was very fast. Next, we will clone this package. That was quick. And finally, we will clone this package. Perfect. Next, we need to navigate to the workspace folder. We do that by typing. And over here, we will make our packages by type typing catkin make. Okay. This will take some time. Perfect. The next step is to source our environment. Remember, every time you want to run a simulation or after you build a package you need to source that package and that workspace. Consequently we will type this source test turtlebot develop and we will actually source this bash file. Okay that was easy. Next let's simulate the robot motion in gazebo. 
We have three robot options and let's see these three options. I will simply copy and paste this link in my browser to show you these options. Here they are. We have burger and we have waffle and we have waffle pie. We'll be using burger. To use the burger, we need to enter this command. This will tell to our ROS that we are actually using the particular robot model. Perfect. Let's now run Gazebo. First of all, we will run an empty Gazebo world. To do that, we will execute this command. What's happening over here? We are launching TurtleBot3 Gazebo package and we are launching this launch file that will launch an empty Gazebo world. Let's see that world. Here it is. Here's our robot. And here's our world. It's an empty plane. However, we cannot move this robot. Let's learn how to move this robot. To be able to move our robot, we actually need to create another terminal window. And in that terminal window, we need to run teleop node. Let's do that. Click over here to open a new terminal. And then, remember, every time you open a new terminal or you want to run a new simulation in a new terminal, you actually need to source your environment. So let's do that by typing this. Okay, now we need to specify the name of the robot. In our case, it's burger. And finally, let's run the teleop node. Here's how we do that. We'll simply copy and paste, paste this part of the code. And let's run it. Here it is. What can you observe over here? These keys are used to move the robot around. And let me illustrate them. Okay, so move your terminal over here and bring back the gazebo environment. Then again, click over here and click over here. Now, if I press W, you will see that the robot will start to move along a straight line. If I press W again and again and again, you can see that the velocity of the robot is increasing. Let's zoom out and let's see what's happening over here. Here's a robot, it moves along a straight line. Now, you have to always keep this window active, that is, you need to click over here such that you can control the robot. For example, with S I can stop the robot. But let me illustrate you one more thing. Again, I'll press over here W, I will press it again, and now robot moves. Now, I will click over here and I will try to press S you can see that nothing happens. This is because this terminal is not active. So bring back the terminal, click over here and press S. And you can see that the robot stops. Let's now press W again, increase it a few times and press A several times. And you can see that we are actually changing the direction of movement. Now, if I press A again, I'm actually changing the direction and the robot describes a circular trajectory. You can go right by pressing D for example if you want to change the direction. You can go backwards if you press X or you can deaccelerate or accelerate and this is how you control your robot. To be honest this Ross world, or better to say Gazebo world, is a little bit boring. It's just an empty plane and there's nothing interesting about it. Luckily, this package has two additional worlds. And let's activate these worlds. First, close Gazebo by clicking over here, then go back to the terminals, click over here, and then press Ctrl C. You might need to press Ctrl C several times to kill this process, 
just be patient and wait for a while. Meanwhile, let me explain how to generate another world. We simply need to run this command. So let's do that. Let's go back over here and you can see it stopped. Again, let's run this world and let's see the world. Here it is. Here's our world. Looks more interesting, right? This world can be used to verify path planning algorithms or maybe even slam algorithms. It's a very nice world. Now, here's an issue. Let's bring back our tele teleop node. Here it is. And let me just change the view a little bit so you can see what will happen. And bring back the te teleop node, that is click over here and try to press commands. Try to press W, nothing happens. Try to press S, A, D, nothing happens. This is because this node was active for the previous world. You need to kill this process by pressing Control C. Then you need to repeat this command. That is, you need to launch this node once more. So do that, and now you will be able to move the robot. So click over here and try to move the robot. So if you press W, you can see that the robot is moving so let's move straight let's increase the velocity and then let's press a to move left and then we can make our robot to go around this pole over here so let's try to do that here it is it's kind of difficult that's why we need path planning algorithms okay next let's run the world from the beginning of this video Close Gazebo, then click over here, go to the original terminal window, press Ctrl C, press it several times, and enter, and wait. Then I will simply copy and paste this command that will bring the third window. The process still didn't finish. Okay, now it's completed, and I will simp simply type this command. And now over here you have to be patient and there might be a few errors. First time to tr you try to run this environment, that is this world. However, you can see over here that I can do it immediately. This is because I already have run this environment several times. And here it is, here's our robot. And let's try to move this robot again. We need to go back to the teleop node, press Control C to quit, then launch the node again and here it is press W and our robot moves perfect okay that will be all for today I hope that you like this video if you like the videos I'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons thanks a lot and have a nice day